Yeah, welcome to a small PowerPoint presentation on personal evangelizing, evangelism using NFC. Okay, first of all, why personal evangelism? Um, Jesus, before he uh, went to heaven, told us, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe, believe will be condemned. Now, it's quite serious words we've got here from, uh, uh, from Jesus, what he's saying. And that is, number one, we've got a job to do. And this job has got a consequence as well. If people hear the word and uh, they don't accept it, they don't want to believe, uh, they will suffer condemnation. Uh, and and that, that's a horrible thing. Uh, if you're interested to find out what condemnation really means and uh, what the consequence is, uh, please go to uh, www.turnorburn.co.uk. And uh, there are a couple of guys talking about uh, the experience they had, uh, near-death experiences, when uh, they fell, they had experienced hell. Anyway, it's something for you to, to check it out. Now, um, in Romans, we get a scripture which uh, states, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So in other words, it's very important for us as Christians to get out there and to get the word of God heard. Now, um, in this series, we were discussing a few methods of how you could uh, use uh, your smartphone for personal evangelism. And NFC is just one of uh, the uh, three means we have discussed so far. We've discussed Bluetooth and we have also discussed QR codes, uh, which you can refer to in a previous presentation. Okay, let's see what uh, NFC is all about. Um, first of all, NFC stands for Near Field Communication. Um, and you can see this here. That's a typical scenario. You've got a, a small loop. Uh, there's a small circuit connected to the loop. Just follow the mouse as I, or the cursor as I'm talking about this. And um, um, this loop is a passive loop. So there's no battery or anything like that in the NFC tag. And you can write to this tag and you can also read from this tag using your smartphone. Um, there are also other um, sort of possibilities to use NFC. Uh, we've got phone-to-phone -phone, uh, information, so you can change information from one phone to another, maybe a business card or some basic information. Um, where's my mouth gun? I can see it here, yeah. What is becoming a little bit more popular is the so-called contactless payments. And you can see this here, some sort of uh, visa machine. And uh, you can uh, use NFC to get a code to give you some credit and then uh, the credit is automatically taken off. So the whole idea is if you buy a sandwich, instead of putting a PIN number in or something, you just take the phone, and then uh, 2.50 or whatever you paid for your sandwich is going to be taken directly off your prepay account or your credit card. Uh, the symbol for NFC is this one here, and we've also got another symbol, which you can see uh, right here at the top left-hand side of this presentation. Uh, wherever you see this symbol, your NFC-capable phone should be able to pick up uh, what uh, what is behind behind this sticker or the label. Uh, down here we've got a, another sort of range of possibilities and opportunities uh, how NFC can be used. So for example, uh, one vision is you can open doors with it. You can have ID cards uh, equipped with NFC, ticketing, you can buy tickets using NFC and lots of other things. I, I don't think that much is happening at the moment, but um, the uh, technology or the ideas for the technology are there and it remains to be seen how much will be accepted in, in uh, months, years and decades to come. Uh, so that's NFC. Now, the uh, let's go through the next slide and you can sort of see a little bit more detail about this. Now, as I said before, NFC stands for Near Field Communication. It uses passive devices. So you've got these loops as you've seen them before. And, and they are basically passive devices. Uh, the frequency NFC operates on is 13.86 megahertz. And, and that is exactly the same frequency RFID tags and RFID devices use. Uh, so in case you haven't heard about NFC, but you've heard about RFID, uh, the way I understand it is just a protocol. Uh, the, the way the data is written to the, uh, the tags is slightly different. The rest is pretty much the same. The, the concepts are the same. Um, how much data can I store in an NFC tag? And the answer is it's very similar to a traditional text message. The old text message, I think the limit was about 140 characters. 
uh, a typical NFC tag can store up to about 127 characters. So it's a little bit less, but it's enough to you know get a short message across or to use an identifier. Certainly more than you could store in an ordinary barcode. A little bit less what you can store in a QR code. But um, still, it's uh, probably enough information to maybe refer somebody to a, a website or a phone number or an address or uh, to, to provide some basic information about something. Um, now, smartphone apps are available to write and read tags. Uh, you can download them for free. I tried, I'm going to talk to you about this later. I tried two application, two apps, and they were free and they work quite well on my smartphone. Um, I understand that most smartphones you buy today are kitted out with NFC capability. Um, the previous generation, I, I had uh, a smartphone and I, I haven't seen anything like that in there. There was no NFC or anything like that installed in the phone. Okay, um, NFC tags, yeah, that's what it's all about. So uh, you see these tags here. You see this is just like a coil. The chip is inside. And this tag is going to cost about um, 30 pence if you buy them in bulk. If you don't buy them in bulk, there's sort of 50 to 70 pence. Uh, I bought a pack of 10 and of 12 for, I think, for about five pounds. So a little bit more than 30p. Um, in dollars, it's about 50 cents. And the price can go up to about a dollar, a dollar a tag. Uh, a tag. Um, you can see this here. This is the way you would operate it. You've got your smartphone. You just turn NFC on, turn your tag reader on, and you just hold it very near to the, the tag, and uh, and it'll read uh, without a problem. Uh, there are also sort of... Whoops, let me go back. I didn't want to switch there. There are also um, key fobs available or key ring holders or something, and some of them are quite stylish. Let me just go back again. Some of them are quite stylish. Some of them are less stylish. But uh, again, you can put them on your key as a key ring of some sort, and you can put on there uh, important information uh, which you want other people to read. And, and you can use it maybe for evangelistic purposes as well. We're going to look at this a little bit later. This is what it looks like. So you hold it near the tag. Uh, I find out that this distance, with, uh, you know, which is illustrated here, is a little bit too much. You need to be right on the tag. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And uh, if I go, if you look here at the bottom right-hand side, um, these are typical tags you can buy on Amazon, eBay, or from uh, companies who deal with RFID uh, equipment or, or NFC tag equipment. So uh, you can buy them. If you buy them in bulk, the price comes down to about 30 pence, which is roughly about 50 cents per, per tag. So if you have a little bit of a campaign, an evangelistic campaign, um, as little as ten pounds, fifteen dollars, you would be able to, uh, you know, program the tags, uh, spread them out somewhere, and just wait for the results to come in. The potential. What is the potential of NFC? You can write anything up to 137 characters on an NFC tag. You can write protect it. So that means this is a problem as well. If you don't write protect it, you might stick your NFC tag somewhere and. People read it and they don't like what's on there and they might write something else to it. So you can seal the tag so that other people cannot write to it after after you've written to it. So that means uh, your the information on your tag stays protected and it cannot be overwritten. So it's very important to, to bear this in mind, uh, especially when you um, you know distribute them all over the place and you don't want um, you know that the marketing value is used by somebody else. You can place the tags in public places so where people might you know, see them and if they understand what NFC is, they might just uh, take out the smartphone and uh, scan them in. Um, the, in England, we've got a saying which, uh, which is that uh, curiosity kills the cat. So uh, people are curious and by just putting one out, so you might just uh, arouse enough interest for somebody to, to check it out and to uh, you know, read it into, into a smartphone. Um, obviously, be careful. There are some places you are obviously not allowed to put them, um, public places. But, for example, if you've got a church, you've got a, um, some display area for the church or somewhere at the gate or wherever, you could, without a problem, place one of these tags and people might, might go for it. Uh, windows, ideal, benches maybe, park benches, uh, providing you've got the right to stick them on there. Um, 
or anywhere other than a metal surface. And I found this out as well. Um, if you use a metal surface, and let me just go back to the tuck, um, you can see the coil here. This is just like a coil. And if you've got a metal surface and you stick this tuck on, on top of it, the uh, um, you will not be able to connect to the tuck. And the metal surface is going to uh, diverse divert the uh, radiation for the phone and nothing gets to the uh, to the chip. So when you place a tuck, just make sure that you place them on plastic surfaces or non-conducting surfaces, maybe a window, uh, plastic, wood, uh, where, wherever it's possible, but metal doesn't work. Uh, my advice to you is as well, uh, test it out, test your NFC tuck once you have placed it, use your phone, try and read it, just to make sure that, uh, that it's possible to, to read the tuck. Uh, what can you do with it? You can put a short evangelistic message uh, or direct people to a website. Um, that's what you can do with a tuck. Um, you can mark the NFC tuck with, uh, um, with, a, with a word, yeah, with using permanent marker. So, for example, you could put down maybe a church, Jesus, uh, hell, uh, something which might catch people's attention uh, so that they not, don't feel utterly cheated when they... Uh, read the tuck in and it's something which uh, relates to God but if you just write one little word on the tuck with permanent marker it might just be enough uh, to for people to be curious and to to scan the tuck in and then maybe go to a website or find out about your next church meeting or an event which takes place or uh, the phone number for the church or whatever it may be um, also you've got those NFC fobs those key rings and it might be an idea as well, if you give them out, and you might make them look uh, quite nifty, um, cool, you could uh, stick information for the church, some emergency numbers, uh, you know, for if people face some distress or whatever, uh, onto this FOB, so if people ever, you know, face a tough scenario, they could just scan it in and get a, search, get a phone number and have maybe somebody pray for them if um, the situation is quite severe. But um, just, an, just an idea, uh, again, your creativity, uh, there are no limits to your creativity, how to use this technology and how to use this for uh, spreading the word of God. Uh, as I mentioned before, the cost is about 35p, which is about 50 cents in uh, dollars, or uh, how much would it be in euros? Maybe about 40 cents in euros. Um, the, um, the FOB. It's about a pound, a pound per piece, uh, and again, you get all sorts of different designs. Some of them look really cool and uh, quite fashionable, and people might might want them for their keyring, uh, possibly. Um, also, you can hide the NFC tag behind more appealing stickers. So if you've got a sticker and you put some marketing on it, so you could maybe have a church event or you've got something else, um, uh, uh, and you could stick the dates and the uh, phone numbers or something else on the NFC tuck, put the little NFC sign on the, the sticker you have printed and then, um, you know, glue the sticker wherever you've got an opportunity, maybe your car window or uh, church window or anywhere else, really. So people can, um, can see, um, can get a little bit more information and also store it on their phone once they've got the information. That's the key thing here. So if people see a sticker and they might be interested, but they forget the crucial information uh, that might be the website, a phone number, the dates for an event, uh, then it might be a problem. If they've got it on their phone, they can call it, uh, call it off at any time. Okay, possible messages. Where will you spend eternity? Then, we, of course, we've got John 3.16. Um, um, John 14.6 is a good one as well. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes comes to the Father except through me. And uh, in my instance, I've created a small website called turnerburn.co.uk. And uh, it just talks about people who have had some near-death ex experiences and who, uh, who claim that they've uh, seen hell or they've seen something about hell. It's worthwhile to, um, to make people aware that their choices will carry an eternal consequence. Uh, that, that's my personal opinion, and I think today most people believe in God, they believe in, in heaven, they think they can do whatever they want, uh, not yielding to God, and then one day when they die, just stand before them, because they, they are not as bad as the guy next door to them, and, and it just doesn't work, we know it doesn't work, and it's the biggest deception which we have in our generation. There's an eternal destiny, there's a consequence, if you don't 
choose to follow Christ, if you don't surrender your life to Christ, if you don't allow Jesus Christ to be Lord over your life and you give him entrance to into your heart, uh, you will end up in hell and you will face eternal, the eternal consequence and people need to know this. So it's not scaring them out of their wits, um, but it's just presenting to them what the reality is. It's not just a lovey-dovey kind of thing. Do what you want and you'll be okay. Uh, but there's a serious consequence. Do what you want and you'll go to hell. That's basically the message. That's the message Jesus has sent. I, I go back to the uh, first page. If you don't believe on Jesus Christ, you don't accept him as your Lord, uh, you will stand condemned. And and that is a, a serious message. And that's a message we need to get out in our day, in our generation, probably more so than any generation before us where there was some sort of acceptance and an awareness of that there's going to be a judgment and that the only way out of this judgment is uh, through Jesus Christ. Now, NFC software, where can you get it? Um, it's fairly straightforward. I mean, you, first of all, your phone has got to be um, NFC compatible. The easy way to, uh, to do this is you just go into your phone settings. Uh, if you don't see anything about NFC, you can't use your phone. Uh, you have to go for a later phone. You have to uh, wait maybe until your contract is uh, due for a renewal and... Uh, Get, get the latest smartphone. Um, if you have got in your settings um, something about NFC, then your phone is most likely NFC compatible. You can then go to Google App Stores or the iPhone App Store. I would imagine it's the same. I haven't got an iPhone, so I'm not quite sure uh, how this works. And then you can download the software, install it, and uh, it'll work. The software I used is called NXP Tag Writer, and then I used another one from uh, Research Lab Hagenberg which is Tag Viewer, and uh, both of them work fine. One of them only views tags, the other one can actually write them as well. Uh, you can write in different standards, you can um, write protect them as well, which is very important. And, um, and, and they were free as well. So the application's free, just install them. I played around a bit with them. I uh, just got today my NFC tags. So I started recording things to them, erasing it, putting new stuff on, and uh, also protecting it. Um, okay, your smartphone needs to be NFC enabled, obviously, which, which I mentioned before. This is the software down here. Up here you can see NXP. That's the NXP software. And here are all the different options you can do with the software. Um, if I read it to you, it's view, um, override. You can erase something. Uh, you can write protect something, and so on. Um, different software, there's a Nokia Tag Writer. I, I don't know, I've never used it. Uh, some other software as well. The point I'm making is there's lots of stuff out there and you can utilize it on your smartphone to uh, to try and, and write to these tags. Um, you can see a little tag here, yeah, and um, you can see your phone here as well. And as I said, you can write to it, you can put your messages on there, leave them somewhere in the hope that, that somebody's going to read it and uh, load in the information into his, his website. But as I said, it, it doesn't just have to be the tag on its own. You can create some stickers, um, uh, have them printed, um, you know, sticky sticky labels, uh, print them on your computer, stick them somewhere, put a key message on there, something which will get people interested. And, and then whatever feel, what message you have, and, and you want to bring it to your community, um, you can use this technology to try and get this message across yeah. and, and the beauty is uh, you can leave it somewhere for a year and it'll still work after a year providing the glue is strong enough and it's uh, it lasts in the weather if it's inside a building possibly even longer and you never know it's just like putting a fishing hook out you put your fishing rod there and uh, sometimes the fish bites sometimes not sometimes you have to wait a long time but um, it's interesting technology something to get your head around and maybe, um, you know, something, it's a low investment um, outreach, something you can invest into, spend £10, get your stickers ready, pray about it, you know, try and get a message from God. You would uh, try to get to your contemporaries, where, wherever you are, in whichever country you are, <coughs> and just wait and, and see the results. <coughs> Summary about NFC. From what I can tell is the technology is now widely used. When I was, um, I'm based in Britain, in, in England. <coughs> and when I was asking my friends, a lot of them didn't know what it stood for. Uh, my geeky friends knew about it. Quite interesting as well. The uh, less geeky ones 
uh, thought it was something completely different. Uh, they knew about RFID, but had never heard about NFC. I just came across it when I got my smartphone and I saw, what is this all about? And I started asking questions. <coughs> Sorry for that. I think there's a lot of future potential. So it might be something to, um, to consider. Maybe in a few years' time, uh, there'll be more NFC. I mean, QR codes started quite a few years ago. And uh, they are those funny codes you can see in adverts. And the uh, advertisers want to entice you to scan it in and it'll direct you straight to a website where you can get more information about the product. Um, now, they've been around for quite some time. But they're not very... Um, um, I'm not sure how many people are actually using it. I have never seen, I have to say this uh, honestly, I've never seen anybody standing in front of an advertising uh, placard and uh, scanning a code. But uh, when I talk, especially to the younger generation, to younger kids, everybody knows about them and people allegedly tend to use them. Now, uh, the NFC thing is going to be a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more unknown. Probably if you've got an NFC th sticker, you should probably... I need to tell people what to do with that in order to try and uh, get the majority of them to scan it in. But as time goes on, um, it might become much more accessible and more people might be using it as they accept this technology. Campaigns are cheap. They can be very long lasting. You spend 10 pounds, you place <clears throat> 10 stickers in strategic places um, and they might last for a year, they might last for two years and you might get people who are interested in whatever you have to say, and and, and potentially, uh, you might you might rescue uh, a soul from through this work from uh, <clears throat> from condemnation, as Jesus says it. Says it. Um, the last point I want to make is this: there's, there's a huge potential for creativity. Um, just think about it. All the things you can do with uh, with NFC codes, the information you can stick on there. <clears throat> how you can use this information to um, you know make people aware of your event also if your your target audience is uh, the younger end it's probably the an ideal technology for for kids to get in into if you are looking to target middle-aged people to old people it's probably not the right medium and you should be looking for something else maybe the good old paper truck where you've got a little piece of paper with a bit of information on it uh, about the message you want to share is more useful than uh, dealing with kids who would probably be quite confused these days um, to see anything written on paper um, instead of a computer screen. So the times have changed and we need to go with the times and utilize the technology to spread the word of God. Okay, I hope this uh, talk was a little bit inspiring and maybe you can look into this if you've got some questions feel free to leave uh, some comments here on the youtube site every now and then i'll uh, monitor it and uh, i'll get back to you okay god bless and uh, all the best in your endeavors of using nfc tax and nfc technology to share the gospel okay god bless bye bye this is michael at radio eden